Hey guys, it's Nutcase, and today's video I'm doing an unboxing and using the supplies from the Jezzy Jezza art box. Now, for this main part, I had originally recorded a voiceover. I decided I didn't like it, I felt it was too slow, so I've now sped it up and I am now doing the voiceover later. So, let's get into the box. So the first thing on the top is our little art menu that has everything that shows us what's in the box and all the information like that. Then there is the art print. I did not get one of the limited edition ones, but this is still nice. Jazza made uh, this art using the supplies that are in the box, so you can see you know, what the art supplies can do, basically. And then uh, Smart Art gave us a coupon and I think like a bookmark? I'm not really sure. First supply I get out of the box is a Tombow brush pen, which is actually one of the brush pens I do like to use. So. I'm happy about having another one of those. And then I got a Color Race pencil, uh, Prisma Color Race in blue. And then a Signa Uniball Jelly Roll, whatever they're called. And then a Fiber Castell Dustless Eraser. Another Tombow pen, this time with a brush tip and a fine tip. And then a very nice mechanical pencil that I will for sure be using after this as well. And then a graphics box of liners. Uh, they're different size liners and a brush tip one as well. The next thing in this art box is the uh, Spectrum Noir brush markers and I'll talk about those later but this set is a uh, color like the set of colors were picked out by Jezza specifically for this box. And then we got some blending card, which is the paper that Jazza uses for his art. And then we got some fiber castell pencils. And then this pencil case, which upon watching Jazza's videos, I thought that looks a lot like my pencil case. And then lo and behold, it is. I just have a bigger version of this pencil case that I use for convention travel. So I can probably make use of this one for like throwing in a purse or something. So yeah. I really like that the zipper snaps to it so they don't rattle around. And then my least favorite art supply in this box, which is the sketchbook. <laughs> I don't have any problems with the paper and stuff inside. I just don't like sketchbooks that have like a cloth cover because I can't customize them. But yeah, so we got four pieces of the blending card and I'm going to make something using that. I uh, use the sketchbook to do swatches. So that's what this is and I'm swatching all the materials and just testing out what they can do at just kind of a glance. I end up doing two uh, pieces of art to really test the markers and well I guess not just markers but just the art supplies in general. Uh, I really like the blending card but I don't like I have a weird thing with textures for my papers while I'm working on stuff and it doesn't feel like I'm working with something that will actually work I guess because <laughs> the uh, the blending card is just really smooth and I just feel like it's not gonna like absorb or whatever but it does. Uh, I'm actually not a big fan of the Spectrum Noir markers with the fine tip and the brush tip. I actually have how I use markers, I usually use the brush tip and the chisel tip, and so I didn't use the fine tip at all for any of the, <laughs> this art because I don't tend to use the fine tip unless I have to. So yeah. So the first picture I do, it doesn't turn out great, uh, but it's <laughs> me trying to draw Jazz's avatar in like my style. And so I think this one wasn't done on the right side of the paper maybe because it didn't smooth out as well as the next picture I do. So I don't know. Uh, I did like how the pencils layer on top of these so that was nice. I, I think that's actually something to do with the paper. Again it doesn't feel like it would take the stuff very well because of how smooth it is but it does so I don't know. <laughs> I'm just used to working with like more textured paper I guess or some paper that I really like isn't like it's not really textured but it doesn't feel like the same smoothness. Like the Denink sketchbook pages don't feel like this, but they still feel smooth. So I moved on to a small mite drawing. 
because I was like, what am I going to draw? And then I just, I randomly decided I wanted to draw a small mite because I was like, oh, I like these colors. I think that would work for small mite. So let's do this. And so I did this drawing on the side of the paper, I think is the right one. And it turned out a lot better. I really liked drawing this one better and I feel like I just had a better experience with all of the art supplies. And again, I tried to use like a little bit of each. The only one I really didn't use is the Colorace pencil. Uh, I don't like for finished pieces like this, I wouldn't use a Colorace myself. I would use that more for sketching, but the pencil, the mechanical pencil actually erases really easily and the uh, dustless eraser erases everything very easily. So that's, it's nice and they all work together. And like I said on the other one, like I really like how the color pencils layer on top of this paper, on top of the uh, the markers. So yeah, I'll see what I'll do with the other two pieces of the blending card, but I'm gonna have to probably look up and see how much <laughs> this is and possibly do like little drawings like this. Like I think this would be fun to do for some like before conventions just to have some original art on the table to sell and like this one didn't take me very long to do and I think it could be fun to do a couple like little busts to sell like that and yeah <laughs> I always get a kick out of drawing small mite with like just a little bit of like cotton blood I don't know why it amuses me so much but it does so I just, I had to make sure to do that. Um, another thing about the Faber-Castell pencils is they're water soluble. And so I used the blending marker from the Spectrum Noir to basically like smooth them out. And so that's how I made like that texture gradient. So yeah. So those are the two pictures I made. And these are the supplies that we got in the Jazz's Jazzy art box. I don't think they have any more of these. I think they sold out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!